Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? It is Sunday and let's get into today's video. So before I start, you know what I'm going to say, please hit that like button guys, subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what are you doing today and what kind of videos do you like to see um, and press that notification bell, that way you don't miss any further uploads. Um, <clears throat> it's up, I'm just outside my appointment, look at this, it's absolutely Belting it down. I mean, my camera don't do it any justice, but you can clearly see it's all right now. So, oh, my son's dog's had my son dog. My son's dog. I can't even speak. As had my life last night. I could not get to sleep every time he went out. The dog were barking. Does anyone else have a dog that is very clingy? Um, I don't know if it's because of uh, the way she was treated before we got her. But as soon as he leaves, and it's, and then when I try and tell her to stop, she just barks and answers me back. And just play with a, happy, I call her happy feet because she just starts dancing and whacking her feet off the floor, you know what I mean? Like Bigfoot. Um, and, she'll, and she'll bark because I'm telling her off. I'm like, it's like bloody three o'clock in the morning, you need to stop. Um, but yeah. I'm knackered. <laughs> um, but it's another day, another challenge, what we're going to get up to today. So I actually woke up about, well, I got woken up because I finally got to in, into a sleep about half eight, nine o'clock this morning. Finally got asleep. Then I got woken up with IHT2 ringing me. Don't forget your appointments at half past seven. But could you get here for about maybe quarter past 11 instead? If you can, it's okay. If you can't, I'm off for God's sake. So I had to quickly get up, get sorted for the day and come outside and it's raining. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm here and I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'll catch up with you guys when I get home with a nice cup of tea. Can't beat a brew. Hi guys, it's a few hours later. Sorry, I've come into my room because there's a motorbike out front and it's revving. And I don't want you guys thinking what the hell's that noise because it is pretty loud. Anyway, so I'm back for my appointment that I went to this morning. It's about two o'clock now. And pardon me, just had a cup of tea. I've had a bath because I felt like I need, you know, I really need to soak my legs as well. Uh, hakey legs kept me awake most of the night as well as that bloody dog of my son's um, restless legs seemed to rest up with and I had, to, I had to literally stand in the bath last night early I should have said and um, hot water down my legs with shower Um, kind of eased up a little bit but when I got a bit you know when you're like oh god here we go again anyway I'm not complaining but <clears throat> Today's appointment went pretty good, to be honest. So I saw the IHGT, the Applicational Therapist, today. And you know what? I'm quite surprised. I was going in there open-minded thinking, oh, not going to help me. But I was wrong. She, I actually felt listened to. Uh, she understood because her family member has fibromyalgia. I can never say it right. She said she pronounces it different to what I, I say. Sorry, my skin's really itchy as well. Does anyone ever find that as well? It always me arms. It's like, <sighs> always gets you in the worst, on the worst times. Anyway, I've oh got to come out back now. Can't win. Um, so she's wrote down stuff that I've said, and then she went through it at the end, um, to make sure I understood what was going to happen, what was said, and you know the brief into everything, whatever you want to go on. Um, I also brought up the 
appointment that I had on Wednesday with the other IHGT lady, the nurse, and how she kind of like dissed what I was, you know, the access to nursing course. Sorry, that's a dog. And I don't think the lady on Wednesday mean, meant it. She's probably just thinking it's going to be hard, you're not going to be able to do it type of thing. And this lady went, no, if you want to do it, you'll put your mind to it, you'll do it. There's support out there. There's tutors, that's what they're there for, you will get the support. There's people that she is trained, well not trained, what do you call them? you know, mentors, is that what you call them? And they've had autism, ADHD, learning difficulties, so if they can do it, you surely can do it. So, that kind of made me feel like, fine, you know, I felt like good with it. And I felt like that today, this appointment went really well, then I would have gone, if I'd gone to the doctor, I'd have come out feeling blech. You know what I mean? She, I felt listened to her. I felt like she understood, because her family members got fibromyalgia and issues going off. She's referring me to the fall clinic. Is that what you call it? Risk fall clinic, whatever. Um, she's giving me a number for... It's like an alarm system if you fall in the home and you've got a wristband on or a necklace and you press that button. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, I'm trying to rattle it all off before I forget. Um, an alarm thing, so if you fall, you just press it and it goes to. So I've got a bit, I don't know what's going off with me today. It's on my tongue, so it's like, anyway. And you press this button and then the alarm triggers off and it informs your loved ones or whoever's nearby or whoever number you put on. Because this has happened to me before where I've literally been on the... I've not been able to get up. I've fallen, hurt myself and I couldn't get up. Not hurt myself to the fact that I needed the hospital, but I didn't know who was altering. Everyone were out. Um, I rang the ambulance service. They came out. They were really lovely. Oh, you know, got me up, did me obs and everything. Made me a cup of tea, which was lovely. And sat with me until I felt like I was able to walk properly because obviously they're not allowed to leave you. So, you know, paramedics are not given enough credit. I had to think of that word. I had to think of what I was saying there because I thought, how do I word it? Anyhow, so today's appointment is sounding, it's looking positive. She's contacted my GP as well. And she said, usually when I contact GPs, I'll do it in a written letter. That way I've got proof and they're not saying, oh, I've not received it type of thing. Um, she's asking them to re refer me to the pain clinic because the phone call I got the other day isn't the pain clinic. So she doesn't know what the heck thought that was. So, um, I'm boiling. <laughs> Um, she's asking me to get my full physical done because she, she goes, you could be even going through the menopause as well. I went, mm. oh, well, that's what I thought a few years ago. They did the test on me, uh, the blood test on me, and it was a, oh, I can't even know what you call it, pre-menopause. But it kind of, after that, it just stopped. Um, other tests and stuff like that, my balance as well is really bad at the minute. Uh, but yeah. She's going to write it down get, and she goes, you should hear by Wednesday by from the doctors if you don't contact them. But make sure you see the doctor that you usually see because, which I tend to do usually, but isn't, you, you when it's an emergency, well, on the day, well, no, it's not, sorry, excuse me. Uh, on the website that I go on, if I might not rattle it all off, you'll get whoever's available, you know what I mean? Anyway, so things are looking good. I feel a bit positive today, but I'm not going to lie, I did break down a few times um, crying because I just, everything was getting too much. I've been a bit snappy with everybody for the past few days. Friday, we were worst. I was, I was crying. I cried myself. I had a cry with myself. And then when I put a picture up on one of my YouTube shorts, I got... Um, you know, chilling, just real clearing the mind and someone wrote something not so nice. I know you're going to get the odd person that like that, but it still hurts, you know what I mean? Anyway, enough being said. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to catch you up with you in the next video because I need to go and sit down. My back's about breaking. And, yeah.
stuff keeps you that like button the subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell so you don't miss any further uploads i don't know what that was all about and i need to go sort my hair out <laughs> see you later guys enjoy the rest of your sunday